Well, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Man, this is just a small car. They really are smaller than what you think. Ooh, it's tight. But anyway, now we got to get the welding. That's where we're at. So I got some tacks I have to grind off. And because the shielding gas was running out. So I got some bad tacks. So I'm going to grind them off. Retack. And get the welding. Yay. I still got to move this plate up front here. Man, it's a small, tight car. My God. Ugh. I had to keep some heat off of the headlock. I think some a couple layers of aluminum plate. I think that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, I'll get the grinder. Come on now. Yep, time to blast some air at the floor joints here. I got it all welded up, got most of the stickers off, pretty much all the stickers on the cage, the bars. And man, whew, rough as I ever had time getting stickers off. So I got some air. I'm going to blow around the floor joints there and get the dirt and stuff away from them. And I got to seam seal it. Yeah, all right. Most of the dirt. Give me a glove on. See, I got my seam sealer here. And I'm going to put it on all the welded up floor joints. Side the line here. Yeah. There we go. I said everything's welded. I got cleaned up. Let's see where they replaced the floor before. You can see the seam sealer here. If I had to cut some, well, clean it out so I could weld it in the certain areas. So, and just to make certain that there's any pinholes in the floor from welding on the cage. That's why I'm going to put some seam sealer on the plates. And so while we wait for a seam sealer, which actually might actually take longer than 30 minutes because it's a little chilly out here. I'm going to get me my, I'm not going to use Alice acetone to wipe the cage down. I'm going to use my usual glass cleaner. Um, and we'll get to Craigslist rebuild on the cage. The old spray paint. Where's my glass cleaner? Got my rags. Boom, boom. Now before you go painting on anything either, you got to kind of scuff the steel up a little bit. So I'm using Big red scarrow pad. I've had them. I just gotta finish scuffing up and I'll wipe everything down. One more sticker right here. I don't know how I missed it. Uh, finish scuffing. Finish scuffing. 
Finish scuffy. Scuffy, scuffy, scuffy. Finish scuffy. Now wipe down what I can first. Well, I got two flavors of masking here. Find more if I need to. Well, there you have it. Got my light off. Cage is all painted. I'm going to have a couple spots where I might have to touch up or so tomorrow morning. And I got to get the seat back in. Wasn't smart enough to put the mask on at the beginning there, even though I tell myself that all the time. So I have it a little bit underneath my nose here where I was breathing in earlier. So got to use some acetone there to get that off my face. But I'll show you the cage and now I guess I got to use some acetone and get it off my fingers too. But cage is done. We can get her out of here. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. The final cage reveal. What's been built, painted. Um, like I said, now it's done. I can get it out of the barn here. So he's going to come up tomorrow morning there, pick it up. So tomorrow morning. A um, couple spots on this are just a touch tacky yet. Because I did go over a couple spots. Um, so we're going to let them dry. Maybe rattle up some more tomorrow morning there if need be. And we've got to throw the seat back in, which is on the other side of the camera there. And get her out the door and move on to the next project. And I think you'll like it. Hopefully you will. It's not. It's another vehicle that is not mine. It involves a motorcycle. I think it's an 09 Heritage soft tail. But now this is what I hope it sounds like when the exhaust is low. It'll be pretty close to it. Yeah. I wanted to video it leaving here. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. <laughs> Took it easier than I figured he would. What's that? So he took it easier than I figured he would. Yeah.